Hello everyone. I'm well aware that Hanukkah is over, but I am coming to you with some Hanukkah crafts for 2021. A lot of you recently watched my video from last year, so maybe I'm just like ahead of the game and these are like Hanukkah crafts for 2022. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun making these. I used air dry clay and it took a lot longer than I expected to dry, which is why it took me longer to film this and now Hanukkah's over, so. Yeah, they're not gonna be family heirlooms, I'm gonna be honest, but they were fun to make. They would be easy to make with kids if that's what you're doing. There aren't a lot of Hanukkah DIY videos out there, so I hope this is fun for you and you can get some air dry clay and try these out. So enjoy and see you next year. <laughs> Use this air dry clay. Um, the most difficult part about this craft is opening the container and making sure the cats are out of the way. I did do this craft on my floor, so that's honestly my bad. Um, so I grabbed a big hunk of this clay. I didn't really know what to expect. I've used terracotta air dry clay before, but this was the, like the Crayola stuff. I got it at Target. Um, but my idea was to create these little balls um, and if you didn't know already I'm making a air dry menorah um, and you can see the next craft a little sneakily because I did it earlier and I put the dreidel craft second so then I made this big old log of clay which took 75 years to dry um, and clearly I am not a master ceramic artist but I've seen people do this thing where they wet the clay and they score it um, and it's supposed to stick better but I genuinely don't know if that's a thing for air dry clay but you know I just was trying to like live my best air dry clay dreams um and then i made a little hole for the candles i would recommend actually making the hole bigger than the actual candles that you plan on using because it definitely shrunk once it dried um and then i just thought oh let me be a super potter and wet these cracks and maybe that'll help it um so this is a different day at an actual table and i decided to paint the menorah a nice blue um you can see i then decided to paint all of it blue because i had this golden blue idea but then it kind of looked nuts so i painted the whole thing blue and then i did this cool little splatter paint situation which you'll see in a bit um this made a huge mess so i recommend covering your surface with newspaper or just literally anything that you don't want to get paint on i also made it like a little wet with water in the paint so that it splashed a bit more um but yeah it took a long time to dry i really painted it when it was still a little wet because i was kind of over it um but yeah i don't think it'll be passed down to my children but it's a cute little decor situation um the second craft was a dreidel which i made a little box uh no that's not a box well i guess it is like a little square shape and then i tried to add a pointed little tip to it i realized that my fingerprints it was very difficult to make an actual square i there's got to be a better way to do it uh, but i made the general shape of a dreidel and then i waited for it to dry and i painted over it in gold paint hoping that you would not be able to tell but it definitely does not spin correctly um and then i drew on all the letters for the game um and you know i am not the most knowledgeable in hebrew uh, i did not go to hebrew school or anything so i was trying my best i think this one looked the best and luckily the camera uh kind of died after this so you don't get to see my horrific other letters on the other side of the dreidel but yeah i mean it looks pretty legit right and it's like a cute decor situation there's my real menorah that i used actually for Hanukkah. 
Veronica. I don't know why it cut out, but there's Maisie, and here's Milo, so he doesn't feel left out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make these crafts, and I'll see you guys next time.